just being able to finally get out on the court and experiencing all of that, and as opposed to just watching it on television all the time. It was really fun, and I've never really lost that feeling. It's just obvious that you love the game of basketball. You just love the hoop. Where do you think that stems from? All the years that I wasn't able to play, <laughs> you know, so just watching uh, in my house in Brooklyn, I was never really given the opportunity to play outside or anything like that. Like the closest I got to playing was with like these like fluttery little like 99 cents balls from like the, you know, like the grocery store and like a shopping cart. I didn't start playing basketball until I was around 12, uh, 10 or so, but it definitely did shape my experience and the fact that I was able to learn from a lot of different people, a lot of different styles of play. So you have like that East Coast grit, you have like, uh, in the South you had great competition every, everywhere, it's ultra competitive, and then out here, you know, you just have a, a large mass of teams in California. So, and in China I was able to play as well, so it's just been, it's been really great, you know, I uh, treasure every moment that I can step on the basketball floor, no matter where it is on the globe. When I was growing up in Brooklyn and I told my friends I was moving to Arkansas, they were like, Arkansas? Like, what is that place? <laughs> And you know, it, it really, it was the best move of my life. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been at Michigan State or here or had half of the opportunities I've had in my life athletically if it wasn't for moving to Arkansas. And you played football there too, right? First organized sport I played, tackle football. I was a wide receiver in safety, starting. <laughs> only girl in the league, but it was fun. Wait, did that ever intimidate you that you were the only girl? Oh, heck no. You know, I, if anything, you know, it made me want to go harder. I think that comes from Jamaica and Brooklyn, you know? You don't really, you don't care who steps in front of you on that any given day, you know, they're people. My mm -hmm. mom always says they have arms and legs just like you and, you know, you just go out there and you play. She really is not an individual player in the sense of wants or accolades. She's never looking at stat sheets. She's never looking at anything like that. And, you know, I've seen, a, I've seen many great players really care about their numbers more than their wins and I think Morgan really doesn't do that. Whenever my teammates like or if I see something, a sort of tendency that they have and I could probably fix it just from the clips that I've seen, I, I'll make them a playlist and send it over. And she pushes our team really hard. And as young as we are, to get on them as freshmen and sophomores and be pushed the way they're being pushed uh, is making them so much better without them realizing it. She doesn't have an off day in practice. She doesn't have an off day in games. I mean, it's what you see is what you get. Um, we have to pull her out of the gym, and not many coaches can say that about players. Just about taking it one day at a time, you know, and we get to build, you know, every day. So it's kind of just like, what are you willing to build today? You kind of have to ask yourself that question as you step on the floor every day. And you put forth as much effort as you can, and you never know. You mm -hmm. never know what can manifest from that. You can see you have so much joy out on the court. Thank you. I really enjoy it, and thank you for having me. Of Appreciate course. It.